Hello everyone, how you doing today? I'm going to show you how to change the boot animation on your Arcos, uh, your rooted Arcos 101. First of all, let me go ahead and power this unit on so you can see that this is has no, um, just has the stock boot animation for you. takes a few seconds to load up. You'll notice there's no customized boot animation on this at all. It's just your standard Arcos boot up screen. Okay, and here we are. The unit has now been booted up. So now, first of all, I would like to thank um, Optimus Prime 2 over on XDA forums um, who had created this uh, custom boot animation uh, for the Samsung Galaxy S phones. And <clears throat> I just hey, I had just you know modified it and ported it over to the um, Arcos units. So first of all, I've downloaded the program Super Manager. Um, this allows you to um, gain root access. So under Super Manager, you open it up, and you go to your settings here, and you make sure it's got the check mark next to the enable root function. Um, so now we can just go back to our first screen again. Now, once that's done, we can go ahead and go to our file explorer. Now, I have already transferred, you can see we are in um, the storage part of the unit. So I have already transferred my animation over from my computer so to save some time. So we just keep backing up one level. We want to be in just where it shows the root of the of the device, which would just show a slash and then nothing else. So if you look here, one of the first folders we see is data. So we want to go ahead and go into the data folder and you notice that there is no there's nothing in here that says um, customization. We need if there is no customization folder, we do need to create it. So we go ahead and we just click on create the folder, and we must name it customization. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in. customization we hit done okay and we now see that the folder has been created so now we can just go back to one and then we just go back to where our back to our storage unit our SD card and there's our boot animation so we just long press it until our new menu comes up and we just want to go ahead and copy that or cut it doesn't matter and now we just go back to our data folder go back to our customization folder and we go ahead and we just paste it in and we notice now that it's been pasted so now that it's been pasted I just like to hit the little green button there I really don't know what it means I just go ahead and now we can just go ahead and exit out and now we're just gonna go ahead and reboot the machine power off reboot and you'll now notice that the new customization screen will uh, now be affected, effective. I actually had to take out every other photo or every other um, photo that was in this boot animation in order for it to be able to fit in the time that it, the Arcos actually boots up. And because this is for a phone, or was originally for a phone, um, I brought the the view out a little bit, and um, I also tilted it, you know, so it's supposed to actually be on the other way, but it looks better that way. So that's how you do it, and as you see, um, it's very easy to do. Um, all you have to do is make sure you have um, actual 
permanent root. This will not work if you have a temporary root. Um, temporary root will not work, so you have to have a permanent root. I used uh, Charlie's method, or Carly's method, however you pronounce his name, so I'm sorry if he's watching this video. Um, he, uh, you know, he gave a good, um, you know, write down of how uh, to get a permanent root on your system. Um, this works for Uric Droid. Um, I did have that on here and it worked for that also. Um, so hope this got, helps you guys out. Um, hope you enjoyed the boot am animation and uh, I'll be looking to create some more and modify some more and maybe look into doing some ports of uh, some um, themes uh, which I'm working on right now. Thank you.